Hey there everyone, I'm Jordan at Afterburner Automation and today we're going to take a look at the architecture of Automation Anywhere's Automation 360 platform. We'll go over the different versions and deployment models of the A360 product as well as the three basic components that you need to build and deploy bots so that you can understand how your version of A360 functions and where your data is stored before we install the Community Edition in the next course. Let's start by talking about the various deployment models that A360 offers. In this case, a deployment model is basically a description of the environment where applications and services are installed and accessed. As an example, Microsoft Excel is offered in multiple deployment models. You can install it on your computer or you can access it through Office 365 on the internet. A360 also offers multiple deployment models similar to Microsoft Excel, and each provides its own levels of convenience and control. The first and most common deployment model for A360 is the cloud model. With this version of A360, Automation Anywhere handles everything on their servers, the product itself, your bots and data, and any updates to the product. This is the most convenient and flexible model for most customers because AA handles all of the server storage infrastructure. There's no need to set up a control room server for your company and no need to worry about storage space as you scale up your program because Automation Anywhere hosts all of that on their end. One thing to note with this model and all of the others is that regardless of the deployment model, runner machines are your responsibility. That means that you need to provide the computers where bots execute their automations, whether those computers are physical or virtual. On the opposite end of the spectrum, there's the on-premises deployment model, or on-prem for short. With an on-prem deployment, the A360 product is installed on your own servers, and your bots and data are stored there as well. Updates to the product are still delivered via cloud, but require a download when you're ready. This model is typically selected by large companies and organizations where security concerns are high and bot data is sensitive. It's especially useful to choose this deployment model when your organization has strict firewall rules when interacting with servers outside of your network, since it removes the need to communicate with AA servers to build and deploy bots. The final deployment model is a hybrid model called Cloud Enabled. With the Cloud Enabled mode, Automation Anywhere hosts the product on its servers and automatically delivers updates, but your bots and data are hosted on your own infrastructure. This model is especially useful for mid-size organizations that have smaller infrastructure budgets or bots working with sensitive customer data, allowing the RPA program to grow without a need for expensive hardware purchases while still protecting that sensitive data. I'd also like to take a second to talk about A360's Community Edition. The main product is sometimes referred to as Enterprise Edition, and it encompasses all three deployment models that we spoke of previously. Community Edition, on the other hand, is the free version of A360, with fewer features. This version uses the cloud deployment model, meaning that it's hosted entirely by Automation Anywhere, and I mention it because in the remaining courses for this track, we'll be installing Community Edition and building our first bot with it. We'll also continue using this version in the upcoming Citizen Developer Learning track before switching to Enterprise Edition for the Junior Developer track. Now that we understand the various deployment models of A360, let's take a look at the three primary components of the product and how they interact. Let's start with the bot creators. This component is the machine where a bot builder accesses the RPA workspace in order to build bots. Technically, any user with a bot creator license should be able to access the RPA workspace from any machine, but these machines require a very small installation of a program called the bot agent. This bot agent allows the A360 technology to interact with the computer accessing the workspace and also manages communication with the next component. The RPA workspace and other A360 products are all stored in the control room, our second component. When bot creators access the workspace to build bots, they're connecting to this control room through the bot agent. The control room stores all bots for any user, contains logs of bot executions, and performs lots of administrative functions as well. Depending on your deployment model, the control room might be stored on your servers or AA's servers, but regardless, bots are uploaded to this control room and then deployed from there to our final component. When bots are ready to run, they're sent to bot runners to execute their automations. Regardless of your chosen deployment model, the machines where bots run are provided by you or your organization, and can be the same machine as the bot creator as long as that user has a bot runner license. 
Like with the bot creator, this machine requires the bot agent to be installed on the machine so that A360 can properly use its automation tools on that machine. And that's it. You should now have a solid understanding of the various deployment models that A360 offers cloud, on-premises, and cloud-enabled, as well as the difference between the Enterprise Edition and the Community Edition. You also learned about the bot creators, the control room, and the bot runners, all of which interact with each other to build, administer, and run bots. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. For more RPA training, check out the next video here, or watch everything in order right here. Subscribe to my channel for updates on new content, and become a patron to get access to personalized RPA support. But until next time, I'm Jordan at Afterburner Automation, and I hope this helps you build better bots.